I up and a VW Coco in the UK and I've just uncovered the 411 LA quite a rare model in the UK it's the first one I've took the cover off in five years and I've owned this one coming up to six this year start off when I first bought it, even five years ago, I knew the wings had gone. But I think I know where it two is, just a couple of hours away, up in Bristow. Bottom of the door is superb. With the chrome, you can see it just traps water. This side's not too bad. More vents than the square back there's 411 LA take a look at the engine in a minute but you're seeing it for the first time like me in five years again that door is good it's just uh, the wings there the arch is fine there Twin headlamps. Let's have a look in the luggage tray, the luggage boot. Any goodies in there? Again, this is the first time in five years we've even been in here. Decent slam panel. Never been involved in an accident. Inner wing, quite good. That's just surface rust there. Well, they bad boys. CV boots. But a common problem with these engines is the distributor. And I think this had the same problem before being taken off the road. But the service history on this one is superb. Receipt after receipt. Let's check it inside. Oh, cool. Original radio, original parcel shelf. But look at the rim. Wow. It smells a little bit damp. But that dash is something else. The actual mileage is 43,979. Wonder if it's genuine. Like I said, I've got all the receipts. What have you? Interior always remembers immaculate. Spare front and rear screen and all that. Right, let's get inside this. 11 on the number plate as well. This one's quite a sought after model. Oh, yeah, we're in. Heated rear screen. Right, let's push the glass forward. Right, let's get the glass forward first. But yeah, the state car. I prefer the square back, but this. This really is not for me, but it looked cool. All slam. Hey Burner UK. The magazine done a feature on one of these about four or five years ago. And people was after them since ever since really. Right here we go. Wow. I ain't got a clue on these engines. All I know is a 1700 fuel injection I know you can convert them back to carburetor even after this long the heat the hoses don't look too bad but yeah what I'll do next week get a good battery and will it run or will it not run but yeah give that a whirl oh he shuts lovely the rear hatch is actually in good condition, look at him. That's what spares for what for the easier quite hard to get hold of. Worth saving. It is for sale, they're all like all for sale. I'll take three thousand pounds, which is about three thousand four hundred dollars. Let's see if we can see under the floor. I remember having it decent floors. 
Yep, it's just the under seal peel in there. Out of seal. Well, the paint's just flaked off. That looks bloody quite good. Check the other side. Again, it's just a paint flake here. There's no signs of rust on the floor. That's just the underseal. Bloody hell. That's cool. This one needs saving. Whether it be me or someone else. I'll tell you what else I've been up to today on this beautiful day. Chopped up the 75. Bug. He'd be ready to go next Tuesday. Monday, I'll take the gearbox off. I've sold that one. Yeah, he weren't saving this beetle. I've had some cuts out of it, but even the heater channel cuts people are asking for now in the UK. Floors are gone. Front's not too bad. I've sold the seats, the interior, sold the right and drive dash. Hello Assembly's Immaculate. That's a good firewall there to keep. Right. Yeah, the 411. Super rare. Look at that bad boy. Right. Thanks for commenting. Like, subscribe, shove the bits of that. And uh, yeah, it was about time I showed you this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. Cheers, guys.